So it is happening. Uh, I think 47,000 Bitcoin was was moved to the books. Um, that is a right. Lot more, right? Yeah. Moved from the cold wallet. So they have uh, cold wallets and here 47,000 Bitcoin have been, yeah. have been moved. Yeah. There are also reports of um, some trustees that says that they've seen some BTC and BCH, so Bitcoin Cash, also moving around uh, from uh, for the clients, for the customers. So mm. it is actually an interesting point because I think up until now, we only had feedback from uh, people get, getting paid in fiat. So it looks like people are also getting paid in uh, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash, which is a great, which is a great news, right? It means that Mongox is not going to um, dump everything to be able to send cash uh, all around. Right. So, yeah, I don't know if we mentioned it. Did we mention it on the last call? It was a couple of weeks ago. I thought it happened in between, but I got a message from somebody that um, that we know, and that person mentioned that they received at least some payment uh, based upon what they had in Mt. Gox, but they did receive it in fiat, which I wasn't quite surprised, but I was surprised since a lot of the conversation, even after we had our last podcast is is the fact that the courts and everyone was agreeing about distributing the existing bitcoin that they had right to to users so it looks like there's a little bit of both going on um that's right that was so interesting what what i've seen however is that there are actually news that are on one side uh, as you said on one side some that are saying they're being paid in fiat and then on the other side we are also seeing some others that are being paid in Bitcoin. And they are also, uh, there is also another article that is saying that those that are waiting for assets might wait longer than the ones that are waiting for fiat. The, the yeah. problem is I, I was not involved in the Mongox and I, I do not know if they have a specific treatment based on the kind of assets they had, the amount they had. Uh, maybe there is a, a difference, right? Maybe if you're below a certain amount, you get you get fiat. I I do not know the details. On yeah, that. this this the persons that that uh, I had read. This is so. This is what they state is that they didn't have many Bitcoin. Right? They had um, Sats, of course, not not enough for a whole Bitcoin, and then they got fiat based upon what that Sat Sat would be in the market today. Um, yeah, they would have, uh, of course, much rather had. I think the Bitcoin overall, but um, yeah. Yeah, so, I guess if they get the actual today's value, I mean, it's not a big problem, right? It's not, it's not complicated to go and buy back your Bitcoin if you really want it. Right. Um, so I, I don't know, like, like it's, it looks like it's happening slowly uh, and not all at once like people were worried about. So this, it's more evidence that this drop you know, it may may just be normal market movements and, you know, people aren't being idiots about just dumping everything that they have. And then maybe they even want the Bitcoin. I don't know if you got a choice, like when you claimed your funds, whether you got one or the other, but um, there's well, there's other dumping now too. Part of it is also the ETFs, people saying, oh, you know, putting in automatic sales, but also Germany is dumping that right now also, right? That's right. Um, so, yeah. Um so following a little bit the articles, I've seen like in the last two, three weeks, probably five or six articles that are a Germany is selling uh, 1.2 million, Germany is selling 5 million, Germany is selling 18 million. So it looks like they're liquidating uh, some Bitcoin that they acquired uh, probably, you know, different ways yeah. for um, government to end up with Bitcoins in hands. And so what I've seen also is that one of the parliamentary there is uh, complaining they're like hey yeah. we should keep that in reserve and so it is interesting of course it, it kind of adds up to uh, the mongox fear that that is there so i thought it was interesting yeah.